Hello everyone, this is Sister Gloria. Today has been a very, very, very hot day. Not only that, we had a storm. Our lights have been out for some hours now. But right now, sitting in the dark, and, and I, let me tell you what I'm thinking about. Ain't no exit doors in hell. And, and, and it's, uh, it's a little warm in here. But well, it's bearable. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. See, in hell, once you're there, you ain't coming out. And, and I'm not uh, talking about this to, to, to cause fear, to cause anyone to, to have uh, fear or to be, you know, to have anxiety. Or, or I'm not trying to push Jesus Christ on you. But if you are not saved, if you don't give your life to Christ, if you don't repent of your sins and turn from your wicked ways, hell will be your home. And as I just said, there are no exit doors in hell. See, here in the earth, there's all kinds of ways to cool off. We can go swimming. We can we'll have water. But in hell, it ain't no water. In hell, ain't no air conditioning. In hell, you don't go out and, and get a fresh, uh, 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 go outside and get uh, 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 some fresh air. And, and it ain't, that's not going on in hell. And so, um, for you that don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins, um, 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 you can give your life to Christ. And you ain't got to wait till Sunday. Uh, you can do it right now. You can ask God to forgive you of your sins. You can say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me of my sins. Lord, I believe that you died and that you rose again. And Lord, I'm sorry for what I've done. Lord, um, I'm asking you, God, to come into my heart. Ask the Lord to come into your heart and live. And see, this is not, you can't work for this. It's a free gift. It, it's, 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 it's free. Uh, you don't have to pay anything because Jesus Christ, he already paid the price for your sins. So so, so you don't have to, to uh, uh, do anything. You ain't got to roll in the flow. You ain't got to do nothing but just be godly sorry. I mean, you got to really be sorry for your sins. And only you will know that. It's a faith walk. It's just believing, just believing in Jesus Christ and asking him to come and live in you. That's all you got to do. You see, the enemy, the devil... He wants you to think that you got a lot of time in the earth. See, we, we don't know. Nobody knows when Jesus is coming. We don't know. But God, he will send warnings before destruction. He will send warnings through his servants to let the people know I'm coming and you got to be ready. You got to you got to give your life to Christ. You can't uh, just do what you want to do and think God going to let you uh, come into his kingdom because he said, no sin going to enter in. He said, lest a man be born again, he cannot enter into, he cannot see the kingdom of, of God. You ain't, you ain't going in. So, so, so today you have a chance. Right now you got a chance. I'm tell you, don't put it off. Don't put it off because, um, and so many people that have died and they went to hell and they heard messages. They heard they heard the warning, but they didn't heed. They didn't take. They didn't they they, they didn't listen. They went on doing what they wanted to do, what they wanted to do, and now they're in hell and they can't get out. And you, we can't get out. All we got to do is repent of our sins. Now, it don't stop there. There's other things that's going to take place. But right now, just ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins. And look, uh, ask him to help you not to sin against him. Let me tell you, just because people are Christians, just because somebody said they've been saved for, 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 I've been saved all my life. I got saved when I was six years old. You know, people say things like that. But let me tell you, they, they, they sin, they still sin and they still have to repent. We have to repent daily. I, sometimes you can repent all day. You know, if you thinking and doing stuff that ain't right, you know, you, you can't be practicing sin. We got to turn around and go the other way. We got to forgive. We got to forgive people. We got to love on folks because the Bible tell us to, to, to bless those that curse us. And now that I know that don't seem right to be a blessing to somebody that don't like you, somebody that's done did some mean things. But 
We, we have to do it. And so God knows, he knows what's in our hearts. And so when we be honest with him and we tell him, Lord, this is happening. Lord, this is how I feel about this. Uh, he understands. God understands. He knows. He He knows what it's like uh, um, uh, to be beaten up and talked about. God know all that. He know we, we, we were going to go through all of this. He done experienced uh, everything. He took the sins of the world upon himself for us, for the world. So everybody is going to get a chance to go to heaven. But everybody don't want Jesus Christ, but he's giving everybody a chance. Mm. The devil... He know his time is short. And that's why we are seeing so many murders and killings and just some just just uh chaos here in the in the earth. Let me tell y'all, it is not gonna get better. It's only gonna get worse. But let me tell you, you can have peace. You can have peace in your life. When you receive Jesus Christ, he makes the difference. You can have chaos. You can have destruction. and A lot of things going on around you. Uh, but God, God will give his people peace. He'll give you peace. You'll be like, I don't know why I ain't worried about this. Because you got peace. You got the peace of Jesus Christ living on the inside. So please come to Christ. Please come, cause, cause, like today, as I was going throughout the day, it, y'all, it was so hot. It was so hot outside. I said, I'm in, the, I'm in my field, cause I'm driving. I said, now the air is working fine, but it still was hot. It, it, it was still hot. Ah, uh, Lord have mercy. I ain't going to hell. I ain't going to hell. And I thank God that 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 I can repent. I can ask Him to forgive me. I can tell Him anything that's going on. You know, because we 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 can be honest with God. We can tell Him things that we can't that we don't want to share with somebody else. We can tell God, and we can tell Him because He already know. God know everything about us. But when we be when we be straight up with God and we just say, Lord, I got an issue right here. Lord, help me in this area. God will help you. Please come to Christ. Please come to Christ. It ain't nothing in this world worth you dying and losing your soul until you ain't going. When you leave this this world, you, you ain't leaving with nothing. You ain't leaving with your bank account. You ain't leaving with your house. You ain't leaving with your with, 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 with your husband, with your fine car. You ain't leaving with nothing. You came in this world with nothing and you're going to leave with nothing. So don't let the devil fool you. Hell is a real place and the devil know he's going there and he want to take as many people as he possibly can. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. Don't hear this message and, and, and just ignore it and act like it don't mean nothing. Because see, if you if you listen to this message and you don't know Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sins, God is warning you. He is giving you a chance to come to him before it's too late. Now, don't worry about nothing else. Just come. Just ask God to forgive you of your sins. And then after that, it, it, it don't just stop at, at repentance. Now, the, later on, as you are as you are um uh growing in the things of God, uh God gonna bless you to, to, to go to a church where you're gonna be taught other things where 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 people are gonna teach you other things that's gonna help you to grow. So when you get when you when you ask the Lord to lead you to a church, ask him say Lord lead me to the church you will have me to go. And when you get to church uh, 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 be, be, be sincere. Be, be, listen. Make sure you have your Bible. Read along with the leader. R read along. Ask questions when you go to Bible study. Go to Bible study because you need to learn. You, you, you need to be taught. In the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you. Father, I thank you, God, for whoever's listening. Even the ones that backslid, Lord, they left you, God. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, God. Thank you for your mercy and your kindness, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us, God, to come and to share you, to share the gospel, Lord. And I pray, God, that whoever's listening, Lord, I'm praying, Father, in the name of Jesus, if they don't know you in the pardon of their sins, Lord, I'm praying, Lord, that they will repent right now, that they will ask you to forgive 
them of their sins, God, and turn from their wicked ways. Yes, Lord, I thank you, God. Lord, I believe, God. I believe, Lord, you hear my prayer. God, I believe, Lord, for that soul, God, whose name is going to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life on tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for that. I thank you, God. God ain't short. God, God ain't short of his word. When he say, when he say he going to do something, God can't lie. God ain't going to lie. He ain't going to weaken our sin. We can't just be a good person. Oh, he was a nice person. She was a nice person. That's not how you get into heaven. That's not, that's not how you get into heaven. You have to repent of your sins. You have to repent of your sins and turn from your wicked ways. Yeah, you have to. It's a must. You have to. And then God will work. All the other things will be worked out. Don't worry about it. Just come on to Christ. Then all the other stuff is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to fall in place. Yeah, because see, the Holy Spirit drew you to this video and I'm praying that, that that you won't um that you won't take it lightly that you won't take the things of God lightly that you won't take this very moment lightly that you will receive Christ on today because see don't nobody know when they're gonna leave this earth we don't know don't nobody know don't nobody know when when, when that time is gonna be up so that's why we gotta get ready be ready and stay ready at all times. Yeah, we got to be ready. Stay ready at all times. Re ready for the coming of Jesus Christ because we don't know. Some of us going to be caught up to meet him in the air. And some of us... We're going to die here on the earth. But the word of God says to be absent when your spirit man. See, 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 you are speaking spirit. You just live in a body. When your spirit step out of your body, it's going into eternity, either in heaven or hell. God said, choose this day who you're going to serve. Is it going to be him or is it going to be the devil? Because let me tell you, if you die and you die uh, without repenting of your sins, I'm, I ain't going to lie. I can't sugarcoat this. You're going to hell. You have to repent. Yeah, the word of God said you have to repent of your sins. That means I'm going to turn around and I'm going the opposite way. Because see, the road to hell, the road to destruction, the word of God said is wide, is broad, and many going to be on that road. But the road to righteousness, the road to life, he said it ain't going to be that many on, the, on that road. So, 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 today, accept Jesus into your life. Receive him into your life. He loves you so much. He don't want none of us to perish. None of us. It ain't no exit doors in hell. I'll see y'all in the next video.